Outside a New York courthouse, protesters greeted the former president with signs warning that he is about to face some consequences. As Donald Trump arrived, the media watching from above and in the courtroom, a scowling Trump waiting to testify under oath. The New York Attorney General sued, saying the Trump Organization inflated the value of its real estate to get better bank loans, arguing that earned the company $100 million and exaggerated Trump's wealth by $2 billion. Before he takes the stand, I am certain that he will engage in name-calling and taunts and race-baiting and call this a witch hunt. A prediction that came true just moments later. These are political operatives that I'm going to be dealing with right now. Uh, you have a racist attorney general who made some terrible statements. Judge Arthur Ngoran has already ruled that his company's financial documents were filled with fraud. The question now, what will it cost Trump, his family, and his company? While his adult sons, also his co-defendants, testified that their accountants were to blame, Trump acknowledged that he suggested some real estate values. Under questioning, Trump repeatedly fought with the judge, who will ultimately decide his punishment. The state wants him to pay $250 million in fines and for Trump and his sons to be banned from doing business in New York, which could mean he would have to sell some of his most celebrated buildings. During a break, Trump motioned to be quiet, advice he may soon wish he took on the stand. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.